Hi folks, welcome back to episode four of QCS Top Dog, the Freestyle Challenge. Although our dogs receive the same basic training, they are all individuals with their own personality and strengths. We gave our entrants the chance to submit something that shows off their dog's particular talent and they didn't disappoint. Let's meet our remaining teams. Uh, Cooper's a five year old Springer Spaniel. Cooper's a fantastic searcher, loves to work. Around here we call him Super Cooper. Good afternoon, my name's Bradley Richards and this is Axel. We're part of the dog squad team here at Capricornia Correctional Centre. Uh, we've both been working together for about three years now. Uh, I've been in the dog squad here for just over four and a half. Axel joined us in uh, 2017. He was originally a Australian Border Force dog. Uh, we met down at uh, Brisbane Correctional Centre Academy there where we spent three months doing an intensive uh, dog squad training course and then we were um, deemed qualified and we assessed here and um, yeah, we've been here for the last couple of years. Today we also welcome Jade and general purpose dog Ezra from Lotus Glen Correctional Centre. Once again, we have Luke with Diesel from Townsville Correctional Centre, Scott and Jax from Brisbane Women's and Walston Correctional Centres. And here are today's entrants in our final category, Freestyle. Luke and Diesel from Townsville Correctional Centre. Looks like he's looking for an offender. Oh, there, looks like a suspicious fella down yeah, there. Very suspicious, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he's going to Get him, Diesel. apprehend him. There he goes. Okay, he's so sent he's... in the command to apprehend him. They clearly had he'll that. bring him down. He'll hold him there until, and he'll hang on to him until he's released. Until um, the handler calls for the dog to be released. There we go. Now we will conduct a search. If the uh, offender moves in any way, the dog will attack him. Just adding a few barks mm. there for yeah, a bit of reassurance. Right. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Wise yeah. not to move. Yeah. Follow the instructions given to you by the handler. That's right, yeah. So now he's just going to escort him away. So a dog's generally taught to bark or not to bark? Yeah, or no, they're taught. They'll, they, 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 they automatically pick it up, but they'll, yeah. they'll speak on command. So if the, okay. if the handler gives the dog the indication to speak on command, the dog will bark. Is it right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ryan and Cooper in Townsville. Ryan takes an urgent call from Intel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Where's Cooper? <laughs> Where's Cooper? He's lost his dog. <laughs> Nope. nope, he's gone. No, he's gone. He's absconded. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's too busy. He's eating. Oh, he's having a bit of a snooze now. <laughs> okay. Now he's getting some instructions. He's wondering what the fuss is about. And it looks like there's been a drop made on the farm by the look of that. Yes. So now he's got to search this. So it's an open search yeah. in an area that he's looking for drugs. So this a is difficult a search, yeah, this is a difficult search because yeah. of the wind scent and the cone. So he's picked it up, see how he's picked up the, yeah. he's indicated there and he'll work the cone, the scent of the cone and then he'll go into the source. Yeah. So he's found it, there you go, it's in a tree, that tree there, amongst all those thousand other trees. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that one there, there's the drugs. And that's part of the low custody centre adjacent yeah, to the main yeah, facility? Yeah, 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 it's very okay. good. Yeah. It's a very good job. Yep. Very good. Well done. We're having a bit of a cook up today. We're cooking up some pancakes to keep our energy levels up for a dog squad training day. We've got a big day planned with our GP dogs. We've got some building searches, some tracking, and some intruder detection to do. Oh, boss, boss, boss! There's a snake, there's a snake around there. Where? Around there, around there. <laughs> the great pancake robbery of 2020. That's right. That's right. That fella's going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> he better get that back. You better worry about the handler, not the dog. <laughs> I think so. You don't eat the handler's food. There we go. He's breaking for the dog. Oh, he's in trouble now. Yeah. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> 
the, what's he going to be searching for now? The scent of the person or the scent of the pancake? Yeah, or the doesn't pancake. Matter? Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> the pancake. Make stuff come out now, release the dog. Bring me back those pancakes. Honestly. Oh, there's a rig on the pancakes. So it's a reasonable big area, a big building, and yes. you can see how he now he's picked up on the scent and he knows that that is indicating that he's gone through there. And you can see, you'll see he's, it's around that area. Okay, he's got there you have it, I think there he's got go. it now. Yep. He knows he's in there. Yeah. That's it. They always bark when they uh, when they find the offender if they're behind an area. That's why they're trained to speak on command. Yep. So they're concealed because it could be a night time, could be yep. low light, could be many reasons. So sure. for safety reasons, they. Um, the dog will indicate by barking. Mm -hmm. May sit and bark to locate the offender. And that handler will call him back, put him up on lead, and then take control of the situation from there. And whilst this is a bit of fun, mm. it's actually a really good demonstration mm. of uh, the skills yeah. of this particular dog. Yeah. yeah. So now he's going to take a bite out of him because he took his finger. <laughs> They grab on, don't they? Mm. Oh yeah, they won't let go either yeah. until they're called off. Yeah. Well, I guess those dogs are pretty fit and they wouldn't tire easily either, would they? No, no, no. No, no they love this work. Yeah. There's, There's the pancakes. Hey. Yeah. Walk over to your left. Walk over to your left. So you might position your car where you have a bit but this, this is a good one here with an apprehension of a person out of a vehicle. Okay. So it's a different obstacle, different um, experience, but a common one that they could find in a correctional Is center. Right? Somebody okay. making a drop on a perimeter. Or, sure. Um, um, and he's just apprehended. So the dog wasn't focused on anything else other than apprehending the offender. So the vehicle, the weapon in his hand, all of those things didn't distract the dog because he had the confidence from the handler to respond off the command. So the handler would have some sort of suspicion that this person was yep. doing a um, yep. contraband Probably, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he's an yeah. unauthorised vehicle on a perimeter. Yep. And now search and mail. The drugs. Oh, there you go. There something you go. There. That was quick. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's very good, isn't it? Mm. The first one who did the tree, what, what was up the tree? Yeah, yeah I was, was going to ask the same question. I think. What was up the tree? It's a contraband drop. It's a contraband. Oh, yeah, okay. very good. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. difficult. A high yeah. ground, yeah. open air, yeah. open. Uh, he, you know, he, he, he was able to do the read well. Yes, he, I, I thought that was impressive. He impression. tunneled in, yeah. yeah. So, so that was Ryan and Cooper? That was Ryan and Cooper. Ryan and Cooper, was it? Yeah, he was excellent. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree. Um, the search was like he honed in on the cone of the scent and and you know like really quickly it was very good and um brad was more of a, a, a standard normal search of yeah the male. it was just a standard yeah. search you know? yeah uh, it was assessment level but certainly a standard search yeah. with mm -hmm. the other ones um and uh, jade with the, the with the vehicle mm. Mm. so what are you sort of thinking the ryan and cooper uh was a bit of a standout Yes. Yes. That yes. Was my, that was my view. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Luke, Luke's was very, very, very controlled and very yeah. um, assessment yeah. style as well. Yeah. Um, so and, and Scott's, so Scott's displayed good, um, um, good control and, and he used the props, which is the, um, which was the, um, yep, pancakes and stuff like that. Mm. So this was freestyle. So I guess we're looking freestyle. for a little bit of ingenuity. How you? Combine normal yeah. training techniques yes. into something a little creative, and yes. um, you know, so Ryan and Cooper, that ticks that box for me. Yeah. Um, so the judging for QCS top dog uh, this year has been an absolute pleasure, and uh, the diversity of the talent uh, that has come before us today um, reinforces uh, the excellent work that is going on across the state, and particularly with the work of our Delta units. 
and it reaffirms for us um, the importance that the Delta units play in uh, the overarching safe custody of our facilities from one end of Queensland to the other. And I want to thank all of our Delta units for the excellent job that they do uh, and for the work that they do in keeping all of the prisons safe and particularly for the work that they do in keeping our colleagues uh, across QCS safe. And I want to thank them. Well, we have seen the incredible skills our handlers have with their dogs across the four categories of obedience, agility, room search and freestyle. It will be hard to separate our entrants, but our judges have the task of deciding who they think is this year's top dog. Tune in next time for our final episode as we crown 2020's QCS Top Dog. Have you got what it takes to be a community corrections case manager? Our case managers play a vital role in crime prevention. They manage offenders who have been sentenced to supervision within the community according to orders made by a court or the Parole Board Queensland. They act as agents of change to address offending behaviours and encourage rehabilitation, making Queensland safer by reducing reoffending. We are also looking for custodial correctional officers and trade instructors for Capricornia Correctional Centre. For more information on a career in QCS, visit corrections.qld.gov.au.